My lovely just stuff. Just stuff. Oh, I probably need a nap. <laughs> Hello my beautiful babes, what is up? It's Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and if you are new, welcome. You guys, it's been a very long time since I last posted. To be more specific, it's been about two months. <laughs> so this video is going to be a very quick what's been going on, why I have been away for two months, all that good stuff. So if you guys want to know all those lovely juicy details, then you should definitely keep on watching. I feel like this is just one of those videos where I f really have so much to say and yet nothing at all, and I don't know if that makes sense or not. But what I mean by that is that so much changed and then everything kind of went back to normal. So that's why I mean like a lot happened and yet didn't all at the same time. But anyway, <laughs> before I go into why I was away for two months, I want to backtrack just a little bit to Halloween. I know you guys probably really don't care because we're already in 2023. There was <laughs> there was November. <laughs> there was Thanksgiving. There was Christmas. There was New Year's and. Halloween was a very long time ago, but I really wanted to share what I had done. That Halloween weekend was a lot of fun, and looking back at it now, it's definitely bittersweet. I had known this friend of mine for seven, almost eight years. We lost touch for about two for reasons, and we started talking to each other again. They were really impressed with how far I've come as an artist and really wanted me to not only do their makeup but their entire group for Halloween and so I did. It was a lot of fun. I was incredibly busy from I think 8 30 a.m. until 12 40 in the afternoon. I did a skull. His other friend wanted this Halloween snapchat filter look and the other two were characters from Adventure Time. Don't ask me who they are because I've never seen it before. But overall, all their looks came out amazing and I am so proud with all of them, especially because the first makeup gig that I did was for Halloween and let's be honest, it was absolutely horrible and I'm not just saying that like, oh, it, you know, it was kind of good but it wasn't the greatest, like no. It sucked so bad that I'm actually surprised that I got paid. And I think it was just because I was so in my head and nervous and really didn't believe in myself. And because of that, the work that I did was absolutely trash. But just to do it a year later with new people, with this new set of confidence and just have that redemption moment really meant the world to me. And it just... It makes me want to get emotional just a little bit. Then later on that night, I actually did my makeup. I was Beryl from The Nightmare Before Christmas. It was mostly makeup. I didn't really do anything with the costume. And I went out with my friends to this amazing gay bar. It was my first time going and it was such a different atmosphere. And I can't get over it. I just felt so comfortable. And just to see a beautiful, like, like, rainbow of people just felt so beautiful to see and everyone just embracing who they are as individuals and just accepting of everyone. It's something I've never experienced before and I can't wait to go back whenever we decide to do that. Didn't stay that late because I had work the next day and that was the last time I basically went out. For a week and a half <laughs> because the next day I woke up and I was like mom I think I'm coming down with something she goes why do you say that because my chest feels very congested but whenever I tried to cough nothing was coming out and it was like that for two days and then once that Wednesday morning hit my mom asked me how I was because she knew I had a bad headache the night before and I just was sobbing, like bawling my eyes out. I was in so much 
pain my head my back my hips my thighs even simply just rotating my body to the side felt like my head was going to explode and i couldn't believe it but it actually got worse throughout the day so my mom actually decided you know what i think you should get tested so she literally dragged me out the house and i'm not saying that as an exaggeration she literally dragged me because i was so dizzy achy weak just everything you could think of that's what was going on and it took me like 10 minutes to get down the stairs and the car was right outside <laughs> it was such a hot mess but i went there got tested and turns out i had lovely covid my symptoms lasted for about a week and a half but it took about a good month for everything to completely go away and what i mean by that is the headaches that didn't go away easily fatigue this lovely brain fog that i still have every now and again and even sometimes fatigue i just COVID really put me in such a funk that I lo I just didn't want to get out of bed. Never really got out of it. It just put me in such a funk and a depression as well as other things that came into play. And I just didn't know what to do with myself. And I did try to film in November, even when I was still sick. You could just see how tired I was and miserable if i don't look like i'm enjoying it why are you gonna want to sit there and watch it who knows how long of the video of me rambling i tried filming earlier on this week it was working so well and i tried this new light however it wasn't bright enough and the quality sucked and then when i decided to pull my classic ring light jasper knocked over the tree and it was already 4 p.m i've been filming for hours and i said you know what i think we're just gonna call it a day and I was very frustrated. I'm like, is this a sign telling me I should not return to YouTube? That's where my headspace <laughs> was. Most of December, I was busy making these beautiful bags. This one is just white and tan. And then for my friend, I did brown, just the opposite of this, so brown and white. And then I think the other ones were just all brown. But it's so stinky and cute. It's so soft. Simply made out of plastic canvases. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's just like plastic. Literally. And just cut the pieces and you just sew it all together. It, it just, I don't know how it came about in all honesty, but I really love it. I feel like it's so much cuter on than how it looks right now. Can't tell you how many trips I've made to Hobby Lobby <laughs> in December. It was a lot. But she's so adorable. I even wore her for Christmas. She's so cute. I love her. So yeah, that's basically a summary of everything that's been going on. Why I was away for two months. Yada, yada, yada. And <laughs> I'm just truly so happy to be back. I missed you guys so much. And if there was another word to express how much I missed you guys, I would. But I can't think of anything at the moment. But just no i missed you so so stinking much and thank you guys for always supporting me and being there for me no matter what i love you and i will see you guys all in the next one bye guys